everybody and welcome to Gaming with Zombie. Zombie here and today we are playing Chrono Trigger. Man, you would think I would have wisened up and done that better. Whatever, screw it, we're going straight in. So, as you can see, I've actually played this before. Um, the problem was... That's a very old save file. This is actually from back when I started up this channel, and I've done a lot of things differently. So much so that I actually don't remember where I was or even really how to play that much. So, because of that, um, we basically decided that we're going to start over. Yeah, so I wanted to, I, I regretted the fact that I never got to go any further with this, and there was a video that I had uh, done that was never actually uploaded or edited or anything like that, so I never got the chance to continue from where I was, so I couldn't start over from that save. As such, and I didn't want people to have to go back and watch the old video just to catch up to where we were either, because the old videos suck. If you, however, are interested in seeing the old sucky videos, by all means, feel free to go and look at them. They are on the channel still, as a matter of fact. But they are bad. So, Zombo! Zombo! Good morning, Zombo! So, Chrono Trigger, old Super Nintendo game. Really, really good Super Nintendo game. Um, fantastic, actually. I love this game. Uh, I've only played it a few times, though, for a game that I'm actually really fond of. So, I need to behave today, which is not something I'm very good at, but we're going to try anyway. So, any shwoo, uh, point of the story is old ones sucked, new ones gonna be better, especially because the sound is a lot better, the way I record is different, I, like, everything is... Yes, inventor friend of yours. You know, I've forgotten her name. Her name is... Bush. Bush. Where's the S? Alphabet. Yeah, her name is Bush. Yes, your inventor friend, Bush. Don't forget she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. I don't know why the mom has, like, the carnival barker voice but she does so any shrew yeah i'm really excited to play this again i you know it's one of those things where it's a game that i would like to play uh just because it was such a good game and it'll be fun for me if other people don't like it well you can sort of just deal with it it's not like anybody watches this anyway, it's mostly just me. I'm gonna run into you, bump. Okay. Hey. That hurt. Dim bells. Oh no, your pendant. Where did it go? Is this it right here? Yes, yes it is. Thank goodness. It has a lot of sentimental value. Of course you can. Don't feel out of place. Sure, come walk with me. It'll be fun. This music is fantastic. Chrono Trigger actually has music. Uh, obviously, it has music. It has some of the best music on the SNES. I love this music. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Your name is going to be... Grok. Yup. Grok. And you're... Zombo. What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. So, Inishwu. Love this game. Love it. Can't go up in there yet. They're setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? So basically, you have to go around and play mini games and that sort of thing. It's a soda guzzling contest. I fucked that up. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. Go to town, baby. Is that the best I can do? Suck a shiny fucking dick bag. Go fuck yourself. You eat a dick. So, that was one of the things. There's a race. I really don't want to do that. Don't eat the lunch. 
Don't eat the lunch. Eating the lunch is bad. However, fighting whatever his name is, Gato, that's right. Fighting Gato is good. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. <gasps> yeah. So, Inishwu, we're gonna fight Gato. Fuck you, Gato. And since it's weight, uh, I'm supposed to be able to, like, just take my time and, and sort of focus on things, but whether that ends up happening, I don't know. We'll see. I think it does, but I don't know. This game is, um... Yeah, there it is. This game has a, a neat little thing where if you are... Uh, hitting the the button when you're attacking if you time it correctly you actually get like a critty crit what the fuck fuck you fuck 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 you nah I didn't get it but yay we won and we got spurions so one of the things that you can do is you can actually um, grind this guy to get points and uh, you notice, however, that your health starts diminishing, and the problem with that is you can actually eat this lunch right here, but you get in trouble for it later. So we're not going to do that, and I don't really want to grind that much. I have 15 points. Silver points for 50G? Sure, why not? Thanks. So there's some stuff that you can do. You can grind around for all this, and you can actually get, I want to say it's a silver sword... What is it? There's a nice one. Load sword. Yeah. So that costs 4,000, but it's actually really not worth it to get it. Um, so, because you, you do get upgrades pretty quickly. No, I can't. I think I may I, I may have been supposed to actually do that, but fuck it, I don't care. So this is like the betting game, I think it is. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. Norstein Beckler. How many silver points would you like to pay? I don't have that many, so I can't do it. Sorry. Nice seeing you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Alrighty, so let's move right along. Can I go up now? Still can't go up now? Shit. What the hell else do I have to do? Fogato did the drinking. Uh, I guess I just have to talk to a bunch of people. Karate Gi Bronze Helm. I don't know. I, I guess I could really go with either of those. Yeah, I sure could. Sure. Karate Gi. I don't have enough gold. Fuck you, then. Boosh's device is all set up. She's at the north end of the square. Oh, let's see. Zombo. Put the bronze helm on. Thank you. Yeah, and you get, you get money pretty quickly as the game progresses. So I just feel like it, I really don't want to waste the time farming this stuff. Oh, she wants candy. Go get candy, sunshine. Do I... Do I do anything? Give, okay, I'm giving you a second. Take all the... Whatever. Sure, young lady. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Grok. I'm sorry for having been impatient. At the at the time, the concept of like what you did in the game actually affecting the game later on was pretty neat. Uh, you know, you could do a lot of various things in some games, but you didn't have a lot of things that actually got you yelled at later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, the story didn't... Yeah, but this game, when it came out, was fantastic. It's still fantastic, and it actually hold up, held up, holds up, holds up or held up. One of those things, 
It, it did really well. It's you, Zombo, yes. I'm going to give it a try. Do I have to talk to Marl or Boosh? I'm going to try the telepod. Just hop onto the left pod, and we're going to do crazy shit to your body. Whoa, made noise. So, uh, there's actually this thing where I want to say they managed to actually make a teleporter a few years ago, actually. It's been a while. The problem is that it uh, destroys everything on the one end. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't work for people. Also, the way the brain works, you wouldn't actually get people popping out as themselves. They would pop out with, like, blank brains. So, yeah, that's a thing. Ooh, how did you pick up a cutie like that one? By running into them. There's you a lesson. If you want to pick up hot girls, you just run into them face first. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <clears throat> He's starting to get real nervous about that. Sorry, I have nuts in my mouth. There's like a there's a can of nuts next to me, and I'm just like, nuts? Mm. <laughs> These nuts in my mouth are, are quite tasty. They're a little salty. But yeah, I'm digging these nuts in my mouth. Mmm. So nutty and delicious. All systems go! Begin energy transfer! Oh no, there's a blinky thing. Grok, your chest is blinking. Oh no! Boosh, what the shit? Boosh, what the shit did you do? You know, I don't remember whether or not the machine is 100% responsible for the events of this game. I'm not really sure. Like, I seem to remember that there's some overarching story that you don't really know about at this point. I don't know. Okay, yeah, the way she disappeared, it couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we gonna do now? I know I've seen her somewhere. Blast me, baby. If the necklace got left behind before, wouldn't it get left behind again this time? Or is that no? Does it get left behind? I don't actually remember. Okay, so yeah, hang on to it, so he's actually got to, like, hold it. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but okay, whatever. Power to fool. Roger. More. Give me more nuts in my mouth. Uh oh there we go. And we have blast off. How are you going to follow if you don't have the pendant? That doesn't make sense. Whoa! Uh, seizure warning? Maybe? I don't know. That might not be a seizure warning. I'm really not sure. But it is pretty as hell. Woo! And so begins the grand epic adventure with... Fucking Cybermen coming at you, yo. Fuck you, Cybermen. You ain't got shit on me, dog. No. Don't hurt me. I'm weak. I'm weak. I didn't level first. Oh, yeah. That's a combo, baby.
I didn't manage to get it on that one. I'm not sure. I seem to remember when I played this before that I, I may have had a little bit of a lag thing. It's it's very minimal, but it makes it very difficult to uh, to hit that combo or the uh, the crit. But I could be wrong about that. I may have just been shitty. But who knows? Maybe not, because I just managed to pop it on that one. I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting question. Hmm. Hey, I leveled up. Sweet. So, any shrew. This. Ooh, power glove. No, I want to equip that. Give me that. Yes. Yes. No. Bandana. Power glove. Okay. So, we're going to call this episode. Going to try and keep it a little bit short. A little short, sweet episodes. Uh. If you are a fan of this, or if you are excited to see this, then please leave me a like down below. If you have something of interest to say, make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what's up. Tell me if that is the case with the whole critting thing, because I don't remember. And hey, you see those delightful squishy brains? How about you do me a favor and you click those squishy brains? That'll take you to the page and ask you to subscribe. Now, the reason why this is important is because subscriptions help the channel grow. The more subscriptions that I get, the more people I can reach. The more people that I reach, the more information and feedback I get from you guys, which makes it easier for me to make better stuff. So, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-o!